Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin charts as it looks like Bitcoin's price is setting up for a huge move in the near future. The question is whether that move will be bullish or bearish, and we'll take a look at both possibilities. So, with that all being said, let's jump over to the charts. But actually, before we jump over to the charts, let's just jump over here to the open interest on the options by strike price, because I do want to take a look at the maximum pain price for Bitcoin's weekly close coming on Friday. That'd be February 3rd. Today's Monday. And that maximum pain price is 22.5 which basically means if Bitcoin's price closes around 22.5 on Friday, February 3rd, then that would be the maximum pain for both bulls and bears. As you can see, the majority of the bears would be out of the money and the majority of the bulls would be out of the money. And so this week we would look for a battle between the bears and the bulls and the bears want to get this price more than likely down below probably this 21,000 region that would put the majority of these options closing in the money and then on the flip side the bulls would more than likely want to get this price above 25,000 and that would have the majority of the options closing in the money other than perhaps this bar here so with those numbers in mind 21,000 and 25,000 let's jump into the charts and we can see over here on the Bitcoin price chart for Bitcoin USDT daily candles on Binance at that 22.5 level actually comes in right around the bottom of these candles and these wicks there's kind of a zone here where your 22.5 would be coming in at so this level could act as support and in fact end up causing the price of Bitcoin to close at around 22.5 and thus resulting in maximum pain for both bulls and bears. However, if the bears can push that price down below this 22.5 level, then the next level of support doesn't actually come in until around more than likely 20,500 and that would put the price back into the EMA ribbon back here and if the price were to close down here around this level, that would put the price where the bears would probably want to get it to. And that is below that 21,000 mark we were looking at over on the options. Now on the flip side, if the bulls can continue to push this price up, the next level of resistance is going to be somewhere between this 24.5 level at the top of these candles or the 25,000 level which would put it at the top of these wicks on these candles and so more than likely there is a very strong resistance zone back here around 24.5 and 25,000 now Again, if the bulls can breach through that level, then they could be off to the races and more than likely headed towards 27,000. And that would put even more of the calls for Bitcoin in the profit all the way up here around 27,000. So what might cause a huge move in either direction? Well, on Wednesday, the Fed is set to raise interest rates. The market is expecting a quarter percent bump and if the fed were to perhaps surprise the market with a 50 basis point bump we could see the price of bitcoin crushing down through this level of support and perhaps all the way back down into this level of say 19,000, which would put it underneath the ema ribbons or even lower into 17,000, or maybe even 15,000. that would be a huge move and again if the fed surprise the market with a bigger than expected hike i would expect a huge move now what might cause a bullish pump towards the top well if the fed falls in line with that quarter percent hike and maybe when the chairman Powell has his speech he talks about easing bitcoin's price could pump and if the Bitcoin bulls can breach that price up above again this 25,000 resistance zone. The bulls could, in theory, run the price up to at least 27,000, and that would be favorable, obviously, for the call options expiring at the end of this week. 
Now, while I do have the EMA ribbon on the chart, it does look like Bitcoin's price is getting a little extended away from the ribbon. And so in theory, we could see Bitcoin's price pull back down towards this ribbon temporarily, perhaps before the next big move up. However, if Bitcoin's price continues to fall below the ribbons, then we could see something like we see back here where Bitcoin's price goes below the ribbon, we get a big dump. But right now the ribbon is bullish with your greens and your blues above your yellows and your reds. So for the moment, the momentum is in the favor of the bulls. I would just look for this gap to kind of close again as Bitcoin's price does seem to be a little extended away from the ribbon. Now, if I drop back in my drawing tools over the last couple weeks, we have been monitoring the potential of this current pump move of being nothing more than a huge bull trap. And I haven't actually changed the drawing I made two weeks ago with this yellow line. And what I was actually looking at was the potential of a giant bull trap where if Bitcoin's price was able to breach above prior resistance and it has this setup would be a textbook bull trap you get a dump a bounce up into resistance a deeper dump and then a pump up which breaches prior resistance only to eventually roll over and perhaps sell off lower than this previous sell-off and right now there is the potential for bitcoin's price to roll over and end up having a huge move in the bearish direction back down towards these lows of 15.5 or perhaps even lower towards like the 1272 on the fibonacci retracement which would put bitcoin's price around 13,000, or perhaps even lower down to the 1618 level which would put bitcoin's price at around 90 500. Now, on the flip side, if the bulls can continue this momentum and get the price above essentially 25,000, maybe 25.5, somewhere in that zone, if the bulls can push the price above that, then they could be off to the races to at least 27,000. And that would be a continuation of this current move. And in fact, that overall would be considered a pretty huge move for the bitcoin bulls and perhaps putting in the bottom of this market at 15.5 so with that all being said i think the bulls and the bears are looking to wednesday before either one makes a huge move and if we see a huge move i will definitely do an update video so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.